episode of Tripcast on YouTube, which means we're pretty much officially launching uh, a podcast on YouTube. And Trip's basically me, Munazil. The other guys can introduce themselves. I'm Rafi. Hello. I'm Rodro. Hi. I'm Raj. Hi. So that's wow, Raj that finally said something. Raj has been saying stuff. I have to come with the bolt of silver, Raj. But yeah, that, those the those four those three guys and me or four of us are basically Twip. And what Twip is about, if you are actually here and listening, you should already know what Twip is about. It's not like somebody who doesn't know what Twip is about to be listening to this. But yeah, what what Twip's about is basically we are a, a platform out of uh, Bangladesh and we do geek stuff. We talk about everything that, you know, since we're all geeks, we talk about geek stuff that we watch, read, play and uh, consume. So Atske, what we try to do is we're going to talk about the current state of DC Comics. And so like all of us have like different interests into what DC is doing right now. Like Rafi is into the TV shows more and less with the comics. Rodro is reading the comics, and or maybe he's reading some characters, not the others. And Raj is reading. So the you know, all four of us are here, and we're going to talk about different aspects of it. Fuck. And we talk about the fact that the industry is dying. <laughs> and well, no, overall, if you think about it, Jahu is for the people who are who don't know what happened is basically uh, DC just got laid off in a massive way their parent company at&t slash warner brothers let off let go of pretty much for a senior editorial team they let go excepting jim lee and jim lee i think he's not a publisher anymore and he is the coo or the chief uh, creative officer cco actually so jim lee is mouthpiece dc so he's the only one talking about what's going on in dc but basically what has happened is at&t and warner brothers have fired a lot of people who are old school dc guys and as of today, I think Jim Lee at the article of Bolshek, interview to Bolshek, they're going to cut back out on uh, printed comics and they're going to go digital. And they're going to reduce their current slate of titles by at least uh, 75%. So it's going to be like just major Batman, Superman, Tiger, Jinji, Shikula, So uh, that's where the industry is heading. And uh, frankly, I'm right. And on a joke, Kursi, Disney is going to buy out DC and <laughs> it's a real po- it's a it's a real possibility right now. It's it's not surprising because uh, AT and T and Warner Brothers are hemorrhaging money. They're hemorrhaging money like crazy. Or their taka portion ya taanda ni pore gaise. Or the loaner amount beshi more than the revenue coming in, and therefore they are at one point going to have to sell these IPs, which are appreciating IPs actually. Mane value bartese, which means in case of you know in business terms, which they have to sell. So IPs like Batman or IPs like Superman or IPs like Wonder Woman, which are very valuable IPs, these will go for like a dumb pennies on the dollar sell kore dite hobe to somebody and to be Disney, which, which I won't. I'm, I, I, and I'm not gonna lie, that's something I'm looking forward to. And I mean Disney, Disney kille, you know we we have they have they have an amalgam again. You get amalgam again. <laughs> Amalgam yeah, Chalo, just think about think about this, right? Just just think about this, and which is where my per- perverse pleasure about this is coming in. All those guys who have been screaming about DCEU is better than MCU, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to watch the DCU. <laughs> uh-huh. So, uh, so Disney will have Marvel and DC, and they'll be making joke movies about Batman. Oh, FK, you asked uh-huh. the question. Like, what? do you think Disney will be doing the same with Marvel and outsource the comics to a different publisher for IP rights and farming? I mean, that not that basically what Jim Lee said about DC Collectibles? DC mm-hmm. Collectibles th- DC Collectibles, th- DC Collectibles is becoming DC Direct again. And what they're doing is they're not going to be making the things anymore and they're going to be outsourcing um, the, the statues and the figures to other companies like they do with McFarland. What I call this. In case, actually, and he has actually said the price point is going to go up for the DC collectible stuff as well. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna assume J, uh, you know, they're going to outsource the comics to a different publisher because they did it with. Uh, they changed the what's it called? The distributor from Diamond to I think it's called uh, ACU and Luna. Na me duchi duchi ke duchi ke diye diye distributorship. So okay. those two guys are doing the distributionship, and so they might do it at the comics as well. I I don't know. It'll it'll be interesting to see where they go with it. But. I mean, if they're going out of print, like print is they are knife focus core and they're just going digital, then it's well, not it, a lot. 
it it depends on a lot of things it depends if if they're going to not focus on print or not we are not really sure about that but like yeah. uh, the comics industry right now is completely based on on collectors nobody re- buys comics for reading they can just read it either pirate kore and let they get read it digitally the, so yeah. in in a sense that they are current, like like i i looked at the figures for uh, three jokers issue one right Mm-hmm. they have already sold um i think 300,000 copies have been already sold mm-hmm. and that's an $8 book mm-hmm. so they have sold like 300,000 copies of an $8 book just because of the choker book hmm. i couldn't get the reason why why would you buy an $8 book in this this climate or the only reason is because of the value of the ip the choker value is that that yeah, uh, ip is that it's, it's a collectible it's, like i i want three jokers even if i don't even if the story would suck or shit but i i would want it just because the industry is based in such a way that you know everything is like collectible in oi sense kora hoy so i i don't know what's going to happen in terms of print this is not that stupid that they're going to stop prints of watchman or they're going to stop prints of uh, sandman because uh-huh. Those those are the revenue makers, and those have been making revenue for a long, long while for them. So where, but if DC does go out of print, I'm, I'm, uh, the comics industry as a whole will die. You know, but we have been here before. It's not like a jaga tamra ashine. There was a huge comic burst in the early nineties, uh, sorry, late nineties yeah, and the early two thousands. I think 2000s. the comic industry in like mainstream comics will not be what it is now. But I don't think that's such a big deal, Karon. Like. If you look at DC and Marvel, they're, I mean, at least Marvel or Ketre, they don't really care about the comics as much anymore, Karun. The IPs give them a lot more value in other forms, in TV shows, movies, video oh, games. Video games now as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well Marvel, Marvel treats other comics and IP gulake more like supplementary material to the other shit they're doing right now. Yeah. So yeah, you like your movie? Maybe you want to read. But then again, I tried reading Empire, and that shit gave me a headache. Like, what the fuck is happening in that shit? So I don't know yeah. what they're doing, right? So I feel and like if, stuff if, like image and stuff are gonna be become more dominant, like, more prominent, more dominant. Yeah. Huh? It's about time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then again, image as a business model is completely based on creativity. See, their yeah. image owns nothing except in the logo. They don't own anything. So if you're a good writer, your comics will sell. and that's completely money in your pocket pretty much image takes a little bit of a cut for publishing and other stuff but like it's more more than likely it's money in your pocket so that business model is never going to go out of style or out of fashion because creators yeah. will create that's how they make money so image as yeah. a brand is built on creators so it's going to exist anyways ej dc theke jata gulo lok chakri gese ora koi jabe they're not going to go to marvel marvel's not going to hire anybody for the the comics franchise they're going to go to image and do image shit yep I mean like if that's what happens I honestly look forward to it cuz like the way mainstream comics have been going uh it's not the like it's not what it used to be and <laughs> <laughs> like isn't dark horse dead already I don't mm, think so I don't think so I I I know they're doing more they're still doing some stuff but no they I don't think they're dead people IP is taken away by Disney like aliens and predators Right, let's see dark horse ip blah 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 they still have their own like you know what i said they still have buffy buffy has been a good seller for them for yeah plus didn't buffy like reboot quite in ago as well yeah buffy no 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 like season reboot for season yeah, full, they, they did a full reboot like uh, last year like buffy angel yeah like everything it serves a whole reboot for everything and it's like okay so now dark horse still has some stuff but at the end of the day i mean yeah <sighs> But then again, publishers like Dark Horse are not the the thing, though. But look, look at the industry as a whole. If DC goes out of business, it's not. It's as as we uh, even if we're saying uh, image is jabe, image will do good, and that's good because creatively we're gonna see a lot more other stuff. But these yeah. are characters that are you know you would always you you always think that there'd be a Batman or there's the Superman. Can you imagine yeah, yeah. Batman not being published anymore? Because nobody can work with it unless they have. Yeah, the they idea. will be. They will be. It's just that. Uh, it's not going to be as big. I don't think the comics industry is going to be as big of an industry like going forward. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. As a whole, yeah. if DC dies, it will it will cripple the industry to a certain in a certain way the industry bole kichu thakbe na. So comics will actually be dead. 
That sounds fun. Um, the difference between between manga market and uh, comics market is 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 a little bit of weird, because what we understand as manga, this is I have very limited knowledge about it. Man, I'm actually super high patch with Wolfair video. Dekha ja jaani chete bolte si. Most of the most famous thing is Shonen Jump, right? So yeah. they they are the purveyors of whatever you think or curators of manga to the world. Ja world is famous so it comes out of Shonen Jump. The other stuff they they have light novels and they have uh, Shiusha is Shiusha Shonen uh, Shonen Jump. Shiusha is a separate publication. There is another publication called there, Shiusha. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of publications like Shonen Jump's just the big the one. The most famous one. Yeah. yeah, the most famous one. Because so Shonen's the, are the popular anime and basic and basically how shonen jump works is it works on a merit system or a voting system so whatever stories they carry in one volume or one issue it's a big fat book at the end there's a poll so you can rank how many, all how these how many running series do they have at a time again i forgot like 12? i think they have 15? usually have 12 12 15 thake and you depending on the votes they tally it every week and we get pore jokon dekhe if something is declining they cancel it immediately they don't carry anything that is not running well or not selling well or people not reading or that or carry on corona so this they have a very strict system of you know this shit is not working let's get rid of it so other sales is consistent because in a way people don't like it they're not read it there's something else coming up and the other thing is they get 15 running stories for the price of one book In comics, you have to buy fifteen different books to read fifteen ongoing stories. In to manga, they can just buy one volume, and that goes for all publishers. You know, jara romantic novel, romantic manga like to say, ba you know, fashion designing manga like to say, whatever bullshit that you know the Japanese are thinking up, it's always um, uh, a thing. So they keep on you know releasing stuff that is actually suited to the market, and they know what the the audience wants. So it's always always in a way that yeah, um, it, it's trendy. Like I think they 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 did they cancel Bleach or Bleach ended? Ah, uh, it was basically editorial pressure and shit. And I guess Kubo just yeah. got mad. Kubo just gave up. I mean, Kubo just they they did it. like tell him to end it quick or yeah. something, right? Like they rushed him to. They rushed no, it ending, get over with yeah. it. Yeah, because yeah. and and again, that was also because current popularity the drop could get. I think it was ten yeah, yeah. or eight yeah. ranking in. Yeah, I mean, which I both see. Yeah, like Bleach was the big three, right? It's not like the yeah. Bleach actor. I mean, no that's name probably mang- the only reason they like you know gave him some leeway to finish it. If it was any other series that wasn't as popular, they probably wouldn't have cared. Like... Basically, yeah. So Oya got the only leeway to pay. So on no, because the leeway pay na. Tap dub cancel for it. So okay, Oya, Kubo ke they gave them that benefit. You know what? Let uh, at least finish your story in some way, shape, or other. So um, manga, like I said, it it differs in very different ways. And if you guys are interested in manga writing and behind the scenes stuff, I would recommend Bakuman. Is it? It's pronounced Bakuman, right? Because they, yeah. they never. Why is it called Bakuman? They never say Bakuman the word in the manga or the anime. What does it What mean? Does... Does it mean something? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Does somebody Google this. Shonen Jump is actually hosting an internet. Yeah, we know. We know. Uh, Shonen Jump is hosting a one shot, which is uh, uh, word... September one deadline. So yeah. So it's theorized that the man oh. comes from manga, and the baku comes from bakuchi, as in gambling. So it's oh. like they're gamblers. So well, okay. So it's thematic. Or, Basically, oh, yeah, I keep. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's thematic. Yeah. If if you are writing if you are writing a manga in Japan, it's taking uh, uh, I, I, a chance I mean, or a gamble. If we're gonna talk about titles that make sense or don't make sense, we need to talk about Bleach. Yeah, what's Bleach? Why is it called Bleach? <laughs> He wanted to call it uh, Black, I think, based on like initially it was supposed to be called Snipe because of the guns because he wanted to do guns and shit. Then he realized swords were cooler or some shit, so he <laughs> changed it to Black. Well, at least when he thought it was gonna be black, because the you know they were they were black, but that would sound uh-huh. stupid. So he's like, "What's the opposite <laughs> of black? White. What's white? Bleach." Oh yeah. god, that is so dumb. But that's so cool that's as well. Cool. That's 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 cool. Yeah, wait. Let me, let me read some of the comments. Um. Oh wow, this is live. I thought it was a premiere of a recording. No, it's live. It's it's Modo cast. Okay, yeah, that's why it's uh, going. Out of topic so much. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, 
Chup kor motherfucker doom PFP. Okay, I got the first four <laughs> words. I don't know what PFP means. Profile it's probably because I'm. Profile. <laughs> I assume. Oh. I don't know. MF Doom. MF Doom is awesome. I fucking love MF Doom. Oh, Bukhan did he mean MF Doom, the rapper? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, his, his profile picture. I love this Christmas album. Whose profile picture is MF Doom? Oh, Rudra Roy's profile picture is MF Doom. Oh, yeah, that's oh, yeah, a great album. Is. Oh, yeah, yeah, he also said Modo Sexo, which is the album of MF Doom. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. So, yeah, I covered everything, I think, in the comment section right now. Navid, Navid basically says, I know you guys are talking about DC today, but somebody talk about Attack on Titan OLS. Please, Does anyone yes. want to talk about Attack on Titan? Dude, Attack... I don't want to talk about Attack no, no, no. on Titan. Everything I say will just spoil shit. I don't want to spoil Attack shit from Ad you, Okay, basically, Attack on Titan is a dream. You know, it's all happening in a dream. Nothing's real in the, in the show. And the show Aaron... doesn't exist. You know it's the first scene in, in the first in the first scene that they show that Aaron is actually lying down. That's his dream. He's having a hell of a nightmare. It's an acid trip. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. Good. All right. Uh, now <laughs> we will live back back also, on topic. Another yeah. thing I want to say about Attack on Titan. I feel like the manga just happened because like the Okijani Nam writer. Ah. Like, he probably just wanted to do anatomy studies and figured he wants to make a manga out of it because that's what all the titans look like. Uh, Isayama. 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 Hajime Isayama. Right. Is this, uh, Isayama. Is, is, uh, all Isayama... the titans look like anatomy studies. Like, you know, you know how you, like, trace all the muscles and what Isayama whatnot. is a weird artist. Take us, just let him live. Take us, but the manga art is really bad, though. Yes, it is, but it kind of, once you get used to it, it, it really, like, the weird anatomy and everything, it really feeds into it. It works well for the tension and the style he's going for. Yeah. But, yeah, it's obviously, like, obviously, if you're going to be experiencing that shit, I would suggest watch the anime, because really well animated, amazing music, just overall superior. It's better. Oh, yes, DC fandom, yeah, yeah, but... Um, Plus, Isayama is like, I think he's uh, super racist against Chinese people or something. I don't know. Like, he he, he, he supports, you know, like, ja the Japan Kun Massacre or some shit. I don't know. Like, oh, the, the Rape of Nanking? The Rape of Nanking or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Rape of Nanking. Yes, yes. He, he's, he, he supports... It's basically shit. a Japanese neo-Nazi. He's, he's a neo-Nazi. Yeah. Which kind of makes sense since his main character is a fascist. And the entire <laughs> stick right now is, you know... Why they all? Wait, wait, don't German. go right now, shit! Don't go oh, right, right now, right, shit! Right. Yeah, I'm not watching them. What the hell? Okay, whatever. Is no. it why things are no. so German? <laughs> That's why things are so German. He's he's a fucking Nazi. He's well, a fucking Nazi. No, guy. You, you, look look at the uniforms, right? Look at the, look at the uniforms yes. and look at the way yes. they do their salute. I think uh, the the salute yes. is like the first half of the hail Hitler thing. Uh huh. <laughs> they just don't you know, extend their hands. <laughs> you, heard, you, heard it, guys, you heard it here first, guys. Attack on Titan is Nazi propaganda. I mean, it's called Attack on Titan, guys. I guess so. Well, you know, if you talk about... So, wait, think wait, about so the, wait, the they Titans want to are burn the, down the capitalist who's Jews? Who, who's the Jews? The Titans? Nah, wait. Yeah. Yes. Well, no, but the Aaron Titans. Is a titan. Okay, if we discuss that, we're gonna go, uh, go into spoiler territory. So let's. Oh, right, right. I'm sorry, Mama. Spoiler. Spoiler territory. Spoiler territory. Chat out. YouTube's gonna flag us as Nazi propaganda. That too. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Okay. So yeah, back back on topic. FKU said. Uh, as, also, it's funny how the firings happened before DC fandom and the hey, amount of that hope is and the PR speed. Weirdest shit ever. It's listen. It wasn't planned. Like, look, uh, they fired about three hundred guys of WB and of uh, what's it called? Um, no, 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 no. I mean, bully, I mean, bully. It's a publicity bolo, bolo, bolo. stunt. They, yeah, they, they, they know the fire firing gonna call more people will tune into fandom. Because more people will give a shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not like, gonna oh, watch fandom. You know, <laughs> so you know, yes, you know, no one would have cared about fandom. Yes, yes I, I agree. So definitely, I, 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 you know, it's it's actually a pretty good publicity stunt. <laughs> we, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody goes, you know, it, it's cancelled. <laughs> like, boom, you know, uh, we're not, cancelled? not doing DC fandom, it's cancelled. Guys, we, oh, hyped, yeah, it up. we cancelled. hyped it up for like, what, two months? Goodbye. And now we're not gonna do it. But, <laughs> like, yeah. So, 
could be a publicity stunt you know i i, 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 don't I, I honestly wouldn't have tuned in until all the recent news hit yeah I'm I, like, I, okay, I, now, now, now i care now Mendo. i care like, like, what do they have yeah. what are they going to show us ekhon actually ekta interesting ye ashche like what is uh-huh. the shit show going to look like is is they are they going to fire somebody live <laughs> That's Jim what Lee. they save Jim Lee for. <laughs> wait, wait. If they Jim Lee fire kore nai, I will use Jim Lee. Uh, That's the event finale. Jim Lee is like doing his panel and shit, and they're like, uh, Jim, uh, we want to want to talk about something, and they bring. Mike near stage or whatever the mask can dara kora hobe, thik ase. And they bring Trump on, and uh, Trump fires uh, him. Trump does the your fire thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, the, the, the greatest fandom finale ever. Mashallah, brothers. Mashallah. What that, a twist! What a twist. Really, but also on 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 the interesting side, DC is actually printing shit that they haven't printed ever before, and I think that's due to the firings. And they're like, we might actually lose the license to this shit. Like uh, back in the day, right after uh, the first crisis, hmm. um, Alan Moore hmm. wrote a, a a story proposal. Right? It was called Twilight of the Superheroes or the Twilight of the Heroes. I think it was called. No, to one of the superheroes. Basically, it was a proposal in which um, the story was based like it's in the future, and the future world is ruled by superhero dynasties. So there is the House of Steel, which is um, Superman and his wife Wonder Woman, the House of Thunder, which is the Marvel family, and the Teen Titans have their own house. It was like Game of Thrones. Think Game of Thrones before like twenty years before Game of Thrones was even an idea. So the Titan Titans have a house, and the Justice League have a house, and the super villains have a house. Batman and non-powered heroes they have a power because <laughs> you know the non-powered. And are the alien alliance chilo? You know, the Green Lantern Corps, Martians, and the Thanagarians, which is Hawkman. Right. So basically, uh, the story starts with John Constantine telling John Constantine what happened in the future. Oh, okay. So him Future and Rip Hunt, yeah, okay. yeah, exactly, in a bar, and they're drinking, and he's telling him the story. So John Constantine and Rip Hunter have actually traveled back in time, and they are going to all the heroes who would get caught up in this huge dynasty level fight at the end of time, and you know destroys the earth and everything else and all that shit. So they're trying to. The whole story was basically they're trying to go into all the other books as well. Will they? Tain, so maybe they'll show up in a Superman book and they'll say Superman, that who it is, who it is, say a kind. So he was doing the Marvel style of event with a mainline book and tie-ins. Like 30 years ago, he had this whole concept, right? Poor guy. So he actually told, uh, he actually proposed this story, and so John Constantine and Rip Hunter, for a story they're that kind, he's trying, they're tr- he, they're trying to warn warn all the superheroes, you look, don't do this, and you know you're, they're trying to stop this future from coming true. but actually they are actually trying to make sure it actually does come true because they believe that the human should be free and not be under superhuman rule so they want that final battle to happen and you know all the superheroes to die mm-hmm. and publish it because you know it's Alan Moore and so therefore the future heroes are all either rapists or perverts or tyrants and stuff like that of course of like course, one of course. Well, the central, basically, the central plot of the series is the question: uh, looking into a murder, which is a bondage-themed murder uh, of what later turned out to be underage Billy. Batson. Underage Billy Batson. Okay, so the primary yeah. suspect was Wonder Woman. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, and but what happened was basically whatever this entire concept, they just shelved it and they did not publish it. And uh, They took the ideas later on, like Kingdom Come and idea to theater mutu. So yeah. Kingdom Come became, I get the you know, from it and shit like that. And it yeah, they just took, yeah. So and and the way he was trying to bring the multiverse back in, because after the first crisis, crisis on infinite earths, mm-hmm. uh, the multiverse was done with, right? So DC actually uh, were like, no, we're not bringing the multiverse back. But after Infinite Crisis and Fifty Two, not Infinite Fifty Two, Fifty Two, there was a separate series called Fifty Two. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. did bring the multiverse back as well, and the continuity idea, which is which DC calls now Hyper Time, which is like everything happening at the same time and everything is canon. That's mm-hmm. basically Moore's idea as well. So a lot of DC, what we see currently, including Watchmen shit, is basically Alan Moore. Alan Moore is like the father of DC in so many ways. Mm-hmm. So yeah, this is publishing the whole proposal in in one of the upcoming books. I think it's called um, 
the ending of the 80s or 80s era ending something and the entire proposal for the first time ever the entire proposal is actually going to be at infinite about this or feel color kichu nai you know he has pretty much uh, given up on dc and stuff like that um i want to know your thoughts on snyder not and why the hell is that getting a 90 million dollar budget Wait, what what's getting a 90 hey, million dollar oh. budget Uh, the Snyder cut. He's Snyder called cut. Snyder, oh, Snyder cut. Snyder not. <laughs> <laughs> Very uh, nice. Very nicely done, FKU. Um, what are my thoughts on it? Look, I am looking forward. Everything about DC right now is how badly can they fuck it up show. Yep. You hate one of the things they've done recently, which is actually really good. What? Harley Quinn. The, yeah. the, the cartoon show? Yeah. Dude, That's oh my the god. That's the future. I want that shit to be so the future. Bad. Because I say, edgy, dark bullshit, but it's actually funny. And it's, it's very yeah. on the nose and self-aware. Harley Quinn is so Dude, bad, though. The only oh my reason god. you hate it is because of her voice, which I get. Uh, look, Kelly, Kelly Kyoko's voice is shit. The jokes are lame. No. Uh, uh, oh my no. god. None of no, those jokes, jokes land. Good. When the Joker says women aren't funny, I felt that. Take a sip. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think I think King Shark isn't an, is is isn't an, is is as a main character, and he keeps saying I'm a shark. I think that's his entire shtick. No, 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 no. He actually gets scared to But yeah, he says that. Okay. I, I yeah, I saw the for, whole of first season with Joker building a tower in the middle of stuff, and you know, tap me, and then Harley Quinn coming and saving everybody and all that shit. I think I even saw a thing that you know, uh, Harley Quinn and. Um, Poison Ivy actually slept together in the show. And they slept together in season two. Yes. Yeah, in season two. Okay, L- let repeatedly. me answer FKU's uh, repeatedly. Okay, now I might actually. Uh, is there voice acting for that as well? I mean, there's Kelly Cook. There's flashbacks. Is... There's flashbacks. I mean, Kelly Cook is ruining sex for everyone now as well. Lesbian sex too. Yes. Okay. She's ruining everything. And then the Doctor Psycho broadcast that. Oh, yeah, Doctor Psycho broadcasts the memories of sex. Memories of their intercourse. To everyone. That show is so juvenile. That's, the, probably... point. That's, That's the, the point. That's the point. The show does it on I... purpose, and it's really cool because they're fucking self-aware as hell. Like I love their take on Batman. Right. The entire episode where uh, it's like just Damien. Goose... Though. Huh? Oh yeah, Damien. Damien. Damien's entire shtick. I'm your, I'm your nemesis. I'm your nemesis. <laughs> keeps showing up. He just keeps showing up. Uh, it's, so uh, it's it's oh. not made for my generation, I guess. So yeah, it's, yeah. It's, okay. It's, fair, uh, fair, fair. Yeah. But then yeah. again, like okay, no, look, look. Um, Teen Titans go to the movies, right? That's not meant for my generation. That is, I'm definitely not the target customer for that movie. No, no, right? but that was amazing. That was unique, right? Teen that is an amazingly. Amazing. F- that's an amazing fucking movie. I I love that movie. I've seen it like ten, fifteen times. Did you guys watch the sequel? Right? The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. I was the sequel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, was the sequel as well. Yeah. But like I said, like see, so you can make good, funny shit without pandering to a certain segment. Right? I mean, That's the thing. Harley Quinn doesn't honestly like that. Let's say no. That, again, again. That, that's my point, right? That's DC's pandering. entire shtick. The Harley Quinn started pandering to the LGBT thing. Uh, hey, hey. Were, which was season two, the first season, which was out of left field. Not really. Initially, they were bullying Axel that they want uh, Harley and Ivy to get together. So I didn't really give a shit about it. Like it's like yeah, you knew that they, they were end yeah. goal. The only problem was like Kite Man. I just, you you genuinely feel like Kite Man gets shafted. Like he's a really good character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, poor Kite Man. The way he got, I mean, the way he realizes that, I mean, he got cheated on. It's like so bad. <laughs> like I said, like I saw season one, right? And I was like, it it was just okay. I'm watching it, so I'm gonna finish it. But like, it was gonna. Oh, I need to watch the next episode, and I need to know what happens. But if they change the voice actress, Kelly Coco is just annoying as fuck, and she's always been annoying as fuck. If they do change her, maybe I'll give it a shot again. Oh, there is a segment in the fandom thing where you can ask Kelly Coco as Harley Quinn anything. So for an half an hour, I think. Oh God, I'm gonna live stream that. Nah. Like with my with my thoughts. <laughs> uh-huh. Acha, to answer FKU, which is where we started <laughs> on the Snyder, Snyder cut. Snyder cut is going to be amazing. I think this. I, I, I really, really think. Me. I really think Snyder cut is going to provide us memes for the next ten years. For the next decade, we're going to be set for memes from one thing, and that's worth ninety billion dollars. Yeah, they changed Steppenwolf completely. They they released mm-hmm. a screenshot of his new design. Yeah, Ste- yeah, Steppenwolf looks like a glitch effect in a Premiere Pro right now. 
Yeah. Like he's not fully rendered. Ah <laughs> oh, man, it's so stupid. Uh, please talk about Barca conceding eight goals. Jodi or Tamil, this is a jati or topic. Atske, I really don't give a damn about Barca conceding eight goals because Barca is shit. Um, and that's not a topic my other three friends here are very familiar with. So it's just me talking <laughs> football if I start talking about Barca conceding eight goals. Achha, dude, like teen, people hate on Teen Titans Go way too much. Like again, you are just now watching it with the right mindset, man. But look, this is my problem with Teen Titans Go. Let me let me explain, okay? Mm-hmm. Teen Titans Go is a lot of people's entryway into knowing Robin as a superhero. <laughs> Think about that for a second. Your first Robin is that. Now the Robins as as characters as legacies are amazing characters. Yeah. All of the Robins, even the worst Robin, which is probably Damien, and Damien, well, not Damien, I would say uh, Tim Drake. No, you're, you're gonna say Tim Drake. Wait, what? Yeah, Tim, I was Tim, gonna say Tim Drake. Tim's the best Come Robin. On. I'm our favorite Robin. Jason is the worst Robin, technically, like comparative. <laughs> comparative. Well, yeah. Jason's not even technically a Robin. He was. <laughs> he was. He was. He was. But he's, yeah, like, he's just a kid with. The both issues. Jake and Jason are better as characters when they grow up. Nightwing mm-hmm. and Red Hood, Tishabe. Yeah. Tim was great as Robin. Like I said, and he still he, is kind of. There, oh wait, you can, you can have, like yeah, see, yeah. see, yeah. see. That's my point, right? We have differing opinions on the Robins because the Robin character is such a good character. Our Teen Titans go ni akmatro problem hoche. That stupid ass clown ass cartoon bullshit Robin is the first Robin for a lot of people. Right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I get that. I get that, but it's like if you're if it from a comedic perspective, to guess it, I yeah. fucking love him just because like. I, I think the only only redeeming point in that entire thing for Robin was one uh, Slade. Slade, I think, or a baller. I'm gonna train you, and he says, "I already have a father." Erico make the scene chilo, and that was the scenes for Robin in Teen Titans Go. To guess not the movies, like Teen Titans Go in the show, is whenever yeah. he competes with Wally. To guess it. Mostly because the one time they race, Robin wins. You know, Dick beats Wally yeah, in the race. Do you know how he wins? Do you know how he wins? He bashes Wally's <laughs> knee in with a fucking pipe. He breaks his leg. <laughs> he literally breaks Wally's leg and then just runs away. Because <laughs> fucking best character. TTG, <laughs> it's fun. It's so, funny. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it's not. I'm gonna say we watch TTG when you're high. I'm not kidding. Because do not watch TTG sober. It's boring. You watch it when you're high. <laughs> It's amazing. Uh-huh. <laughs> Teen Titans Go was quite funny. Yeah, that I'll Teen give Titans it. Go is a stoner comedy. It's a stoner comedy. It's a stoner comedy. It's literally Pineapple Express, the TV show. You watch it when you're high and you love it. It's amazing. Because never watch it sober. And again, then there's the people who expect Teen Titans when they watch Teen Titans Go. That's stupid. It's a completely Wait, did, didn't they? Wait, didn't they have like a proper serious Teen Titans as well at that point? Like he, Ote no. became Teen Titans Go. No, right? no, no, no. Ote, <laughs> Teen Titans, Shishwai Gessi, no, Tarpore Go, Bairi, son. Right, because yeah. I remember watching like a first episode of a serious, like T-shaped building tower, like the art was serious as well and everything. Oh, no, 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 they made fun of that. Ote, 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 Ote. That, that was, they basically, they did an episode where they... Use shots from the original Teen Titans, like an episode, and, and talk about how much cooler it is. No, no, they ma- no, no, no. Uta said, Uta acta said, but acta said where they just mouth over it, like they, no, but they I'm, I'm, talking it. About, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about there was actually a Teen Titans actual full show, right? Like a serious show. Yeah, that was yeah, that was were, back yeah. in the early two no, thousand. No, old, we're the old. Yeah, the first one, the one that came out before Go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that that will go followed that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why yeah, yeah, Go yeah. gets so much hate because when it when Go start when Go was about to come out, everyone was like, "Oh shit, Teen Titans is coming back!" Right? Because you have the same voice actors, you kind of have the same team and everything. But no, it was a, it was a comedy, so everyone got annoyed. <laughs> it wasn't the same show. So wait, yeah, so the second movie with Teen Titans and versus Teen Titans Go is like basically the only follow up to the original Teen Titans show we have. Oh, oh yeah, then there's the Titans live action. Please don't talk. Oh god. Titan uh, Live Action is 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 a very good show. I recommend up, it to everybody. Up. I want everybody to watch it with yes, with yes, yes. blades in your hand because self mutilation <laughs> is actually better than watching that show as you will realize at your as you're watching that show. Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. I want to ask something. So wait, mine's Dick. Favorite I mean, Robins? I mean my fa- yeah, not like 
my 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 dick. My my <laughs> favorite Robin is Dick. So you two are Tim Drake. What no, Rajas no, 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 no. favorite? I'm a tau dick. I'm a tau dick. I'm a tau dick. Yeah, you are a tau dick. I'm I'm एक बार बोलने हैं तो अपना dick ना माने I get it. So tau dick. I love uh, you. Ro- my dick. I'm a Rajas. I love Grayson. Yeah, I love Grayson. Like I like Dick as Nightwing. So he's not my favorite Robin. Oh, okay. Wait, you raise an interesting point. Yeah. Yeah, I like Dick as Nightwing. Yeah. Tim Drake is my favorite Robin here. Yeah. <laughs> Now I can yeah. love Damian more in the Superman, and no, sorry, the Super, Super Boys Sons? comics. Super Sons. Super Sons. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, Damian is actually a really good character, and like, yeah, the. especially new 52 to theo kanek bhalo kore redeem korchilo no my favorite robin is the robin king <laughs> shut up, shut up. <laughs> you Did know you... at some point we're going to have to talk about death metal i'm not talking about no, death no, metal no, no, no. I'm, know... i'm definitely pointing i'm keep metal keep i'm jani na i'm just pointing acha pointing i mean do you know do you know the back story of robin king though No. Do you want I me to spoil it for everybody? Bola, bola, bola. Sure. No, no one cares. Yeah. No one cares. Does anyone care about uh, sure. spoilers in the comments? No, you don't. Go. But if if you cared about it, you've already read it. It's been out for a while. <laughs> Acha. Basically, Robin King is Bruce Wayne from an alternate dimension, who killed his parents and killed Joe Chill and blamed the death of his parents on Joe Chill. <laughs> 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 and uh, he is a serial killer. He and then he killed Commissioner Gordon. He killed the the butler Alfred, and he killed everybody. <laughs> and then he came. Uh, and he, on his spare time, he likes to think about how to kill superheroes. The Robin wow. King. Well, what was the, the thing like where he uh, put Rob uh, Flash's mom's ashes or like? Kijanek oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to flash ring like to beat something. Barry Allen. Basically, he he to he he dug up the remains of his mother. Barry Allen's mother remains dig up. Kora flash re. Baba chaka khawa dia. He ended up, you know, uh, to telling him how he was going to kill him. But the other part of that is the other part of that is DC right now does not only have one teenage super villain. Ah, Superboy Prime is back as well. Superboy Prime is back as well in in actually in Shazam. So super, so DC has two teenage crazy, two crazy teenage murder assholes, murder. Two teenage assholes. Two teenage assholes. <laughs> two teenage assholes. But I but but but, but that's not even the other weird part. The other weird part is the Flash is not any of the Allen or the West family. The Flash is actually Ebert Thorn right now. He's doing a Superior Spider-Man. All oh, right. Yeah. So it's Ebert Thorn uh, in 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 Flash's body, Flash's uh, body. fucking with Impulse. Uh huh. Did you know Impulse actually died in the comics? Yeah. Yeah, Impulse died once. He's back since New Fifty. Well, not New Fifty Two. He's back since Rebirth. Rebirth. Uh, but Impulse is uh, he, he right. died since the Young Justice reboot, right? Yeah, yeah. So Impulse basically in the comics, Impulse died by uh, there was this uh, clone of Impulse called Inertia, and right. Inertia got the know. rogues. Okay. Yeah, Inertia got all the rogues together, and he made a machine that would take the speed force out of um, anybody. Like mm-hmm. sever your link to the Speed Force, so they mm-hmm. severed the link to Bart from the Speed Force, and then they punched him to death. That, that's how Impulse died uh, <laughs> in the comics. He got punched. Yeah, but uh, severing his connection to the Speed Force basically brought back Barry Allen and all those guys because they were stuck into another dimension in Final yeah. and all that shit. But yeah, that's how Impulse actually died in the comics, which was which was weird. Then he just kind of appeared out of nowhere in issue one of Young Justice Rebirth. Yeah, yeah, Rebirth, uh, Rebirth, basically. Like, getting lo- Young Justice together. Yeah, but so did Connor, right? He just appeared and. Yeah, Connor. Was- yeah, Connor like reappeared as a farmer in some other dimension, and they found him there. <laughs> but Connor's best arc is. And he actually wanted it. to keep farming, but okay, Jor kore bir kore isse. He was cosplaying as Thanos, basically. So <laughs> he just wanted to keep on farming. And then, But, like, uh, Ferrothanar, poor, like, you know, most people don't remember him, including Superman. Then they take him to Park Kent and Mark Kent, and they remember him, and they're all emotional. And Superman's like, "Oh, why don't they remember you?" And then John comes back, and he's like, "You replaced me already." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that line. I saw that. <laughs> that happened. 
Yeah, John. He Connor gets replaced a lot. No, John thought that basically Connor he got replaced by replacement Sun. Because yeah, he yeah, went yeah. To the future. But like for for Connor, it was a running theme for all through Jeff Jones's run that he he used to get replaced a lot. And you can see that in the Young Justice TV show as well, because he has an inferiority complex. Uh huh. I mean, it's a sh- it's a show about inferiority complex. The whole you uh-huh. know, but yes, it's Young Connor. Te- yeah, Connor has like an extra layer of inferiority complex. Uh huh. So, but the Jeff Jones' run is the best Connor arc. Uh, that that's the run where he gets a uh, a lot of um, character development, and then he goes bald because he wants to be like Lex Luthor. So. Uh, that's that's the run, <laughs> but oh my god, uh, the original the t- the team not the Young Justice Teen Titans run by Jeff Jones. There's this sick ass moment, and which is why I hate the the new Dark- Deathstroke movie, right? Where he's a hero and he has a son and everything, and he's basically a hero. In um, Teen Titans, in the Jeff Jones runs, he shoots out Impulse's kneecaps while mm-hmm. Impulse is running with a twelve god shotgun. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's fucking as painful as it sounds, and the art is amazing. So it's like Impulse laying there with no legs. His just kneecaps are gone. Mm. It's insane. And this is before he dies. And this is before he dies. So how does he get his legs back? Oh, he heals fast like Flash. It's all right. Flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speed force, right. Speed force, right. right. So right. they so heal fast. So he, he, he needed to get an operation done on his legs, but while they were doing the operation, he kept on healing at Flash speed. So he's never really fully recovered. I think he, he's, he's because they had to like depower him somehow. Because when Impulse showed up in the comics, he was insane. He was just like Wally was super OP. But Impulse Jokon show up for it, he was like insanely OP, like on a whole different level OP. So they had to like depower him somehow, so they believe his knees out. <laughs> uh, so also, like, love like a gradual healing thing. It was a gradual healing thing where he slowly. He never, he, he, yeah, he never got back to full speed. Full speed. Like yeah, uh, yeah. post yeah. kneecap shot, he never got back to that full speed. Like that's what the thing about like, Young Justice. You know, not all of you know. I'm, I mean, you guys know. I'm watching it right now. Right. Mm-hmm. So, we kind of our major grievance with the show is how they fucked up Wally West. Right. Wally West is a little slow ass bitch. Mm-hmm. Like you know. Anybody can run faster than Wally West, and you know people are like doing laps around him and shit like that. And I hate but that. It it fits well for this version of the character, though. Yeah, this Wally West is not really a hero as well. Like the Wally West that I grew up with, with the Wally West that I like, he would never give up superheroing and all that shit. And you know, I kind of wait. Oh, one more thing. I Artemis is an original character for the show, right? Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Artemis. Right? I, I don't know. I, uh, and Aqualad, like, and Aqualad, and Mane Ye Aqualad, Mane the Black Aqualad. He's an original. Uh, well, yeah, Cal, Cal is an original version. Aqualad exists. No, no, no. Yeah, but, I'm talking about I'm talking about Ye. The, the one this Cal- version of uh, yeah. the Kaldur, uh, Kaldurum. Yeah, Kaldurum. Kaldurum, yeah. Kaldur so, is well, Lagoon Boy is also the version of this Lagan, which always reminds me of the Amir Khan movie. Is also pretty much oh, no, an original. Artemis isn't an original character. Artemis is not an original character. Artemis Croc first appeared in 1987. Wow. Okay. She, was, she was a bad so, guy, yeah. In Justice League, in Justice Society, Outsiders, shit like that. But yeah. She's mm-hmm. not original. Galderam is the only original character. Like, like the, the characters that I don't really know the backgrounds of in comics, they can think of Calder, huh. Artemis, Cheshire. Huh. Is Sportsmaster? No, Sportsmaster is. Yeah, I know Sportsmaster. He's a Teen Titans villain. Yeah, yeah he's a Teen Titans villain. He's a, in, in, he's basically a Deathstroke. Well, Deathstroke. He's a shitty Deathstroke. He's a shitty Deathstroke. He's a shitty Deathstroke with a really bad name. But what kind of a name is Sportsmaster, Sportsmaster. though? Like, like nah, it legit sounds like well, he either dude, sells treadmills. Do you sell treadmills? I want no, no, no. When, when he showed up, right, the first time I saw, saw him in Young Justice, and they're like, his name is Sportsmaster. I'm like... This guy must be really good at all sports, and he yeah. uses like a cricket bat and a hockey stick and a hockey puck and a billiard. Pl- and I thought like, oh yeah, uh, Casey Jones has a turtle set, and he has yeah, this little yeah, yeah. <laughs> oyster. He's cricket. the greatest athlete in the oh, fucking world. That's why his name is Sports. <laughs> he's, he's the best Cheshire's, athlete ever. Cheshire's autumn, uh, yeah, originally from oh, Teen Titans by Wolfman and Perez. Hmm. Yeah, Cheshire is from. So I, I used to think that Cheshire time for look up course. Cheshire is from actually from Teen Titans. Um, the other is is Megan from anything in comics? Miss Martian. Miss Martian. Not I, sure. Chilona? Mm, don't remember. Yeah, Megan more less. Let's see. Let's see. 2006 first appearance Teen Titans. Eh? 
mm, Young Justice is Jeff, Jeff Jones team yeah, yeah, so she appeared in the comics then in yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. I yeah, oh, this, there, there is so a... Jeff Jones created Miss Martian because the editorial wouldn't let him use Supergirl. <laughs> <laughs> That's ah. interesting as well. <laughs> I, I, do, do you know there's a line in Jeff Jones's uh, Teen Titans that is, and you wonder why there is no Teen Lantern. <laughs> it's because he wanted to create a young Green Lantern and the editorial wouldn't let him. So he put the line in, and you wonder why there is no Teen Titan. Basically, in Jeff Jones' run, there's an ep- issue. There's you know a what Teen I... Lantern now. <laughs> yeah, there's a Wait, Teen Lantern there's... now. Young Justice. Yeah, this... <sighs> oh, Young Justice and a comic series. Oh, Bendis. Bendis. Oh, Bendis. There's a Teen Lantern. So but like, it's this young girl who hijacked a uh, yeah. Green Lantern ring or something. Yeah, I I saw the promo for that. Oh. It's weird. It's basically a rip-off of the like, Miri, like, Riri Williams from Marvel. Yeah, like, they made that another, They made it in re- series called Parsec. Like, yeah. it's a, it's a sh- short black girl with is, curly hair. Is Riri Williams based on Rihanna? It's called, no, no. her name is Riri, so I assume she would. So it's probably, you know, it's based on, uh, I mean, it's Bendis, so, you know, or, or inspiration like Kodduru No, she, Bendis has black children, right? Black daughters. Yeah, I'm not saying he's racist. I'm just saying he has no inspiration. What Two different play, things. What if he based the character on his daughters? I don't know. But Bendis is Legion, though. My lord, that shit is bad. Yeah, oh my god. FPO will kiss it, though. Also, funny how DC was doing pretty good until Bendis came along and did major changes. Yes, exactly. He fucked up John. He fucked up Legion. I well, the thing is, so hyped about what? Legion due to Doomsday Clock, and then they just kind of. Well, dude, dude, the Doomsday, Doomsday Clock shaft is the stupidest thing ever. Take a say. <sighs> well, you know, if you guys hate, way. if you guys like, hate Doomsday Bendis Clock right now, if you guys hate Bendis right now, Bendis is basically the future of DC. They're giving him all all the keys. Nice. To the kingdom. Nice. Yeah, yeah, well, why give it to Jeff Jones, right? Why give it to the guy who literally but Jeff, made Jeff, it? Yeah, but Jeff Jones isn't... Yeah, Jeff Jones isn't with DC Comics anymore. He's with um, uh, DC Films. He's yeah. not, not mm-hmm. part of comics anymore. No, but he writes Shazam, right? Does he? Yeah, he writes Shazam yeah. and he's doing three jokers. Yeah, three jokers are what's going on. What's Jeff Jones? Yeah, three. But yeah, three. But that's the thing. Like, three, he's busy doing other shit, so comics are the time then, which is why bu- they talk took so long. He's busy. He's busy ruining characters of unknown black actors. <laughs> <laughs> why are you doing this? If this gets flagged for racism. It's on you. It's a bit this yeah. Superman or secret identity, nai kore dilo. But what's the point? Like, I feel like he just did it for no reason. There's no consequence. It just yeah. happened. So, so you, you, so you, almost as if that's, it's, it's almost as if that's what Bendis just does, Rudra. No consequences. <laughs> no. Nothing like, Bendis okay. ever writes has any consequence. No, no, no. Okay, so this, this big, this huge development happened. But for what? And what happens because of it? Ki hoi lo? It's supposed yeah, this... to be a big deal, guys. Superman just like told everyone that he's Clark Kent. It's supposed to was, be a big deal. He was just riffing. Like I said, listen, Bendis an inspiration. Kubeshi Dura Jaina. He wanted an I am Iron Man moment for Superman. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. that's why Superman based. And see, yeah, the same thing you said. Even though they kind of, sort of like, you know, looked at it in Iron Man 3 way with uh, the four ten rings attacking, but like. Uh, his inspiration doesn't go very far. He wanted the same thing that Peter did in Civil War. Right? Yeah, but what's the point of Legion though? Like he started. What? Hello. There is nothing of consequence to what De- De- Bendis writes. Hmm. Yeah, like Le- Legion doesn't even appear in future events. Yeah. Uh, love to hear your thoughts on J.J. Abrams supposedly doing Justice League Dark. Is J.J. Abrams writing Justice League Dark now? No, he's producing no, no, no. it. Talk about oh, the, the, TV TV is the HBO TV show. Yeah, he's producing it. Oh, he's producing it. And the Green Lantern TV show. I don't know what, what the shit is happening on that. FQ, FQ brings up a good point. Bendis got paid by Marvel to ruin DC. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ben, Bendis. Ben, yes. 
<laughs> oh my you... god oh that works on so many levels you know you yes. made a dumb you know that the other guy was asking about barca so this this is going to be a deep cut just for you bendis working for dc is barca uh, loaning out coutinho to bayern to score the last two goals it's exactly the same thing <laughs> but yeah Bendis is is shit and he's going to be shit and he's all I don't get it though early Bendis was really good I don't know what happened man Bendis might be replaced by a scrawl who again, can't write for again, shit again 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 nah, nah, nah. it's it's creative burnout slot to slot to early on was pretty good I'm not going to shit on slot Superman mm. was really good even his initial run was okay his big time and shit was decent superior was good tarpor j ki oh, okay yeah se. fine Tarpor-Jay gauntlet was good as well gauntlet was good uh, as well but tarpor j oh baje hua shuru hui se ठीक है सही मतलब ही इज कंसिस्टेंटली गेटिंग वर्स बट ही वाज राइटिंग वन बुक बेंडिस तो मैं मानता राजी है ही वाज राइटिंग एवरीथिंग हां 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 स्लॉट वाज जस्ट राइटिंग वन बुक सो यू नो दैट्स जस्ट रनिंग आउट ऑफ आइडियाज स्लॉट सक्स स्लॉट द सक्स सो ही इज ही ही हैज ब्लॉक्ड मी ऑन ट्विटर एज़ वेल सो या ही सक्स ओ या द होल बी आई थिंक द पी पी सी जोक थिंग आई रिमेंबर दैट स्पीकिंग ऑफ दिस इज फ्यूचर व्हाट डू यू गाइस थिंक स्लॉट एंडलेस मार्क विल बी Endless movie. What do you guys think? Endless Winter will be the event that's coming up. Oh, Endless Winter. Endless it's a comic, winter. comics or a movie? DC. It's a DC comics event crossover. I think. It's probably going to be all the all the uh, fro- uh, ice villains teaming up to take down Batman. I'm calling it now. <laughs> it's like, guys, we can't stop Batman. There are too many of them. There's like a whole universe of different there's Batman. So everybody wants to be Batman. There's evil ones. There's good ones. There's young ones. There's Robin ones. <laughs> there's there, the ones there's, that laugh. There's a Batman that actually th- thinks Darkseid used a gun at one point for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so oh the, the Batman who shoots. Uh, endless Winter. Apparently, that's a character, Dolores Winters. Oh God. What? Batman's getting a lot of new characters. He's got like Bolamna, the Ghost Maker, I guess to say, and then uh, the, the, the designer, the yeah, designer, the, the mirror, not to be dead, the mirror, then the underworld broker or something. Basically, his new villain is called the Mirror, and the Mirror is basically Gotham City personified. Wow. Okay. And he's fighting entire Gotham. Oh, 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 oh
blue dude with like and so old costume part he he wears a mask and he is investigating a murder of someone and then he's like oh shit i can't solve this let me look around oh wait there's daredevil electra fighting on a roof 10 roofs over i'm just going to go and grab their attention and ask them to solve it so they go he goes over there gets daredevil and electra to come over not by calling them by shooting at them so they come to fight him and then they like, oh, don't fight me dead body you guys need to investigate daredevil's like i'm blind you electra you take over electra is like fuck this shit i don't know shit about dead bodies she calls jessica jones <laughs> jessica jones shows up jessica jones is like oh what's going on who is this guy oh my god there's a picture of this guy turns it over and the frame you know the hala symbol on uh, captain marvel's chest or yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that symbol's drawn there. And she's like, oh, Captain Marvel must be involved. So she goes over to Carol Danvers' house. And Carol Danvers is like, oh, yeah, not here, not in my house. Come with me. They go down a lake, and under the lake is the Captain Marvel cave, or the Marvel cave. <laughs> <laughs> then they look at the shit, and they're like, oh, wait, I can't solve this. I need to talk to some other guys. Who's, who are you going to talk to? I'm going to talk to that Chinese guy who became Hulk a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah. So okay. she... Yeah, I know his name. I was just making a joke, right? So so she flies over to Amadeus Cho and Amadeus Cho goes, Oh look, I can't solve this for you, but I have a team who can solve this for you. <laughs> and so he has a secret team which has three members, and I forgot the other two members. I just remember that black guy who skateboards, Night Thrasher. He's <laughs> apparently in the team for some reason, and he's apparently a very good detective. And Night Thrasher is like, Oh man, I can't solve this. You know who I'm gonna to call? I'm gonna call <laughs> Richard Ryder. Hey, Nova, what? I got a dead body over here. Can you come solve this? Richard Ryder is like, I'm fucking in space fighting and fuck off and hangs up. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, we cut to last week. I'm not done. Shut up. <laughs> At this point, <laughs> At this point, we cut to Las Vegas. You know why Las Vegas? Because fucking, what was the name of the guy who annulled um what's it called um spider-man's marriage mephisto mephisto <laughs> okay yeah so uh ghost rider the original ghost rider the one nicholas cage paint uh johnny is basically johnny blaze johnny blaze is now the king of hell how is the king of hell he has trapped mephisto in a casino in las vegas so he goes over to this casino to bring out mephisto from from prison for some reason for i don't know why and and that is the point something else happens and i'm like this is fucking giving me a headache and i need to stop reading ah at least i know what i'm reading tonight <laughs> <laughs> it's with an y so with the with y. a y shit i mean i did type kulangana student uh sharia tto i want an episode where you all recommend butcher baker the just maker yeah sure but if you guys wanted to know, Butcher Baker, Righteous Maker is an amazingly weird comic book about Superman if he was a murderous, horny, mustached guy. <laughs> Pretty much. And the art's amazing. Hmm. But it's, it's, it's an image thing. I think it's not too long. I forgot how many issues it was. Six, seven, or something, that amount of issues. So you'd really uh, enjoy it. It's, it's very politicized and it's a satire on sorts. So yeah, we'll do a video on that. Sure. You mean, I'm not gonna, like, we should do a separate video on indie shit anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just that making videos takes a long ass time. Like, it's, it's, it's hard, guys. I can't explain to you how hard this shit is. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Keep doing it. Is, 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 is Wonder Woman coming out? The Wonder Woman 84? The movie? Is it coming out? No, yeah. No idea, actually. Let me look it up. Oh, okay. Do we have a date? Uh, August 12th. What? Oh, I, wait, wait, did it do that release? August 12th? Well, it was October, right? Today's 15th. Yeah, it says initial release August 12th, Belgium. What? The Belgians? The, the Belgians have it already? The Belgians have Fucking already Belgians? seen Wonder Woman. <laughs> Every time, man, it's the Belgians. It's the Belgians. God damn it. <laughs> that reminds me of that line in that, uh, it wasn't that Brad Pitt movie, right? The Zermans are coming. <laughs> this guy keeps on saying the Germans are coming. Wait. Locks, what was it? Oh, it was Snatch. Snatch. Yeah, <laughs> the Z Germans are coming. Wait. Uh, blah. That's a horrible German accent. Yep. Wait, seriously, there's not, there's not even a proper release date for this fucking movie. Oh. 
Do we have a release date second for October, uh, second October? Second October. Second October. Second October. Do we do we have a release date for uh, Black Widow? Scarlett Johansson the movie? Uh, nope. Scarlett Johansson the movie. Nope. No idea. But now, nah, yeto bear hoche, right? New Mutants is, is guaranteed coming out. They said that they said yeah. that it will. Like, it has to because they they told the I, theaters and shit as well. I have a feeling what they're gonna do is what they did with Mulan. They just got released on Disney Plus and charge you extra for it. No, 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 no. They're uh, yeah. They I, told the theaters I, and shit. You know, you know what's what the what the most hilarious thing is going to be. Mm-hmm. If you guys don't know about the Mulan thing, it's basically Mulan theater release now. Yeah, Disney Plus release for this, and they're charging you twenty nine ninety nine for the movie, yes. which is like crazy, right? You're paying for the price of three tickets for a movie that on a streaming service that you already paid for. <laughs> and the the, the mean, other it's, fun- it's not costing them anything. So even if they get a few people, like. Do it in Jono Judi Hoy. They make some money for it, dude. That's the funny thing, right? I'm 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 gonna bet you right now they're gonna sell out. I mean, they can't technically sell out, but they're gonna make a billion dollars of this. Of course they will. If they can make a billion dollars of fucking Lion King, they're gonna make a billion dollars of Mulan. Mm-hmm. Like the Asian community is gonna go, it's our movie, mm-hmm. and they're gonna pay for this shit twenty nine ninety nine and watch this shit, and and Disney's gonna like, oh, this shit works. And Let's do it with new it. mutants. Let's uh-huh. do it with new mutants, and we'll be like, "Ha ha, Torn Biddy, here we come." No, no. <laughs> I mean, how? <laughs> I don't get. Uh, English team, I don't know. Twip doesn't oh. condone oh. pirating. Yeah. Wink, wink. Please, we, we don't pay for Disney Plus. Do not, do not, do not pirate. Yeah, no, oh man, I, I'm, I'm sad. Kiss anime and kiss manga are gone. No That's one, like I haven't used kiss in ages. I can't. And like every yeah. as long as Nia doesn't go, doesn't go away, I'm Yeah, good. as long as Nia doesn't go away, I'm perfectly fine. Nia is all I, I do, man. Dude, I read nine hundred ten chapters of One Piece on Kiss. I need to finish Mado the thing. Manga decks. Yes, anime, 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 which reminds me, I mean, God of High School, I think I've missed two weeks now. I need to, I need to catch up. I only saw the first three episodes. I'm not the hell like No, I, I, I think. Oh no, yeah, the the fight between. Um, oh God, is it the actor or not? Mori, Mori is his name. Mori, 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 Mori and the 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 Dewi. Their fight. That was the last last episode I saw. Dewi and Mori got into a fight. Well, got into the fight. Actually, I'm not the hell like, well, that's good. And now, the one that DC... People are still watching. Yes, I'm surprised. We have 10 views. We have... Wait, I'm, I'm curious. Give me a sec. We have had consistently like 9 to 10, 12 viewers. This is amazing. Yes, thank you. That's not bad. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. And um, if you want us to talk about something specific, just message us Please or comment. Message comment, us, on... comment, whatever. Whatever we'll we'll talk about it or incorporate it into next next week. Yes, God of High School spacing is really weird because episode three they're talking. Episode four, one guy stops in front of her and asks her to get married. Next day she's getting married and they break up the marriage in the very same episode. I'm like, this feels like a gag manga at this point. What yeah, the fuck it is, is it? Happening? Is it is it is Th- those things are meant to be gag because those things are meant to be taken as like a, literally um, the episode starts or a hita jay to say I but a gari thamar bola ki I am the greatest fight promoter in the in the country and I'm gonna make your moon fighting sword style famous. Will you marry me? And she's like, Oh yes, I have to make it famous, so I have to marry. I'm like, well, what? Uh-huh. What's going on? What? <laughs> and, and then some emotional flashbacks, and she's crying. Her father's telling her, "You need to survive my style, and you need to carry on my legacy." I'm like, "Wait, what?" It's, like, it's crazy. But yeah, we're gonna round it up. It's been like over an hour. We want to do like an hour long episode. Then we, we should stop sixty nine. Oh, sixty nine. I get that. Not not too much of a boomer for that that reference. Oh, so God. yeah. <laughs> Nice patting yourself in the yeah, back for he, that. He's so, he's so proud of himself. Like, yes! Look, look, you guys send me memes all the time, and I'm like, Eta bujai dao, eta bujai dao. if I can get a meme on my own, you have no idea how happy that makes me. I'm like, oh my god! I'm still young! Yeah. So yeah, we want to do hour-long episodes. So, in, in, in summarization of what we talked about, DC is fucked, the comic book industry is fucked. No one gives a shit about DC movie coming out. Um... 
Zack Snyder just fired uh, Chris D'Elia from his movie about zombies because Chris D'Elia got um, sexual harassment accusations. So that's also news. And yeah. no one. And I am looking forward to the. You said Snyder that's what you talked about. We didn't talk about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's important. <laughs> no, Murad was right though. It's it, it's significant. To the, you know, yes. it's, it's significant. Yeah, Eternals. Eternals is going to be trash. Eternals is going to be trash. Eternals is going to be absolute trash. But I really hope both Angelina Jolie and Salma Hayek get low cut dresses. <laughs> and that's, that's worth my money. About. That's all we care about. Yeah. Are we doing another stream during fandom or after? Sure, oh, sure. okay. Fandom yeah. If if week, if, you, if you, yeah, August twenty second. If yeah, you guys August. are interested, I think exactly next Saturday. Yeah, so. it is next Saturday. We can we should literally do the stream during fandom. Uh, I don't know how. It, I think it's a twenty four hour long shit. So I don't know what's gonna be on when. There's a timetable and all that it's, shit. It's fine. We'll do it towards the endish. I guess we'll do it towards the end yeah. of fandom. So I. I uh, I, we are not definitely not gonna be on during the whole day doing yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. bits on that. So what we'll do is what whatever time we see is the last um, finale type of thing. We're gonna come on during that, cover that, and then cover everything that will have been announced. Oh, the whole the last segment is the Batman. So, oh. yay! A new what? Batman, guys! We're gonna get a new Batman. Oh God, we're gonna be yeah. here for another more hour. Okay, the new. Did you guys see the costume for the new Batman? Yes. Uh, the Gotham Did... Knights thing? No, 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 no the no, Batman, no, the movie no, no. with the Twilight oh. guy. Oh. I mean, oh. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it. Pattinson, Pattinson. Eh, good I thought you were talking about the new game. Oh, yeah, we didn't no, talk we're... about either of those. We didn't talk about Gotham Knights or uh, the yeah, uh, the, uh, yeah, the Kiko, uh, Justice League. Gotham Knights? Yeah, Just... but we no. don't know anything about it. So. Wait, the new game? The new game is called Suicide Squad Hunt the Justice League. No, no, no. no, no. Uh, 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 Gotham Knights are a game. It's about, uh, yeah. It's about the Gotham and the Bat Family versus the uh, Court of Owls or some shit. Court of Owls, yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, I play that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna show I that would. in fandom as well. It's Rocksteady. Oh, Rocksteady. Oh, yeah. Rocksteady. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Nah, origin set of budget chill na. Come on. No, no, no. Origin, okay, okay, okay. Yes, as long as they don't have this, like, Dude. as long as this one isn't buggy origin, as fuck, it's gonna be fine. Origins is a game wasn't bad. Sort of, origin was just buggy. Origins, origins, what na? Act up or tell boss fight. I like the boss fights, man. The, the boss, boss fights were good though. The boss fights were the best part of Origins. They had better boss fights than than fucking Arkham Knight, man. Arkham yeah. Knight didn't have boss fights. Though. Arkham Knight had uh, tank wars. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, there was no. Come on, tell me one boss fight in Arkham Knight. Come on, give all that uh, wasn't a tank war. <laughs> it was just tank wars, man. Fuck Arkham Knight. I say this as someone who has played the entirety of it and hundred percented it and everything. Fuck Arkham Knight, man. Is Fuck Arkham Knight worth playing though? I haven't played Arkham. Arkham Knight's the only I'm one really, I haven't I'm played. Really, uh, if you just do an entire run of the entire franchise, basically, like, but Boisha, Asylum, yeah. Kello, uh, City, Kello, Origins, Kello, Knight, Kello. It's fun. It's, it's no, good. I, 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 the main uh, problem with Knight is too many tank segments. Yeah, so we're gonna... no, no, but if uh, Mama, I'm bully. Uh, to me, Judy, PS4, Kello. Tahole, you'll get fucked because the tank segments are much easier with the mouse and keyboard because it's like shooting. No, okay. uh, mouse and keyboard. No. They're like anytime there was tank segments, which was with you, I just switched to mouse and keyboard. <laughs> I'm, I'm not wasting my controller on that shit. I'm definitely playing on on the PS4, so. But so it's still, still, it's worth it. It's a self-contained Batman universe, right? Yeah. The entire storyline begins from Origins and ends in in Night. And Ar- Arkham Knight is Jason Todd, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> Even though they course. said so they it's not Jason Todd no. for five months before yeah, they gave up, like guys, it's not Jason. I'm both the. It's it's not. Are it's not. J- it's Jason Todd. Okay. <laughs> it's Jason Todd. It's, it, was, it was always Jason. And uh, so to sum up, let's talk about the Batman movie coming out with the Twilight guy. I am uh, hyped for this one. Same. Dude, yep. Robert Pattinson, Pattinson, Pattinson is a good son. fucking actor. I will see Pattinson. But it's it's been written by the same guy who wrote Project Power, so. Oh, project time. power is um yeah. bad. It's not good. But but it's being directed by Matt Reeves. That guy. Matt Reeves, yeah. And he co-writes it, so okay, oh, it might be good. Nah, project no, power. Nah, just... lads, project power has good ideas. It's just it's just the execution is off. The pacing feels fucking yeah. weird. And they go like plot transition to be agile. They go from point to point without any logic. Like, again, the pacing. Well, you guys already watched it. Yeah, I watched yeah, it yesterday. It. it took me two turns. I watched half of it yesterday, then watched the other half today, and fell asleep. It's like, 
it's like bright too. It, it it it's like hey, it is literally it's like bright too. It's like instead of everyone having powers, it's like oh, there's pills that give you powers, and you know it's all edgy just, and gangster. I just got Matt Reeves, so like he knows how to do a trilogy. Yeah, yeah fair. Well, like, hope, hopefully that. The Apes was amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Anyways, it's been seventy-five minutes. Take us it. Thank yes. you for everyone who tuned in. Yeah, thank you to everyone. And hopefully you guys will tune in next week when we cover fandom. Yes. Yep. Thank you. So, be, despite right. the channel being called Twip, all we do is DC shit. I mean, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. We'll, hey. we'll talk about Marvel eventually. All right. Please don't give us shit. We'll talk about Marvel eventually. Please. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. About DC because there might not be a DC exactly. at some point. True. <laughs> true. True. <laughs> Appreciate no, no, things when you have it. Huh. All right, boys. Everyone. All right. Good night. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. And